Hello parents, in this video I want to talk about turning in assignments and reviewing work in Google Classroom from a parent's perspective so that you know what your child is doing when they turn in assignments and what teacher comments may be referring to for assignments where uh, perhaps a student came up a little short. So we're in Google Classroom right now. I would encourage you to sit next to your student, have them log into their Google Classroom account so that you guys can look at their work together. And you'll notice once we're in here, there are four assignments that are showing right now. We're gonna go into these assignments in just a second, but I wanna point out that up here at the top, you have three tabs. The stream shows everything in chronological order, and this is one of the places that you can get to assignments. You can also go to the classwork page to get to assignments, and here is where teachers may group them into different categories or by different topics. We'll access them both ways so that you can see both of them. So we're gonna start off over here in the stream, and let's go in and take a look at this assignment over here. It's called Read Chapter 3.2. To open this up, all we have to do is click on this, and it takes you into the assignment. You'll see the title here, you'll see how many points it's worth, you'll see the due date over here, and you'll also see any instructions that the teacher has left for your student. So for this one, they have to read pages 47 through 58 in their textbook. And you'll notice on this assignment, there's no work that really needs to be attached here. Um, the student or the, the teacher did not expect the student to type anything up or to submit anything. This is more just a, a task to do on your own. So after my child has read these textbook pages, how can they indicate to their teacher that they've completed this task? Well, they would do that with this mark as done button over here. So once they have completed reading these textbook pages, they can click mark as done. And then you'll notice instead of being assigned, this assignment will switch to turned in. And that's a little indication to their teacher that they have uh, finished this and turned in this assignment. So that's the first kind of an assignment that a child might have. Um, complete something, do some sort of a task where there's no work to turn in necessarily, but the student needs to mark it as done once they've completed the task. Let's take a look now at another assignment, this one over here called the powers of the executive branch. And we're gonna actually get to this one by going to the classwork page this time. And we're gonna navigate down here to the powers of the executive branch. And notice when we click on it here, it kind of drops down a quick little preview for us. Due date, its current status is assigned. Here are the instructions for the assignment. And if we wanna get in and go all the way into view the assignment, we're gonna click view assignment here and this takes us in. So for this assignment, the teacher's instructions are a little different. My child needs to compose a two to three page paper detailing um, some different things about the executive branch. So on this one, my student should not click mark as done because there's some actual work that needs to be submitted to be able to earn the points on this. So how does my child attach their work? Well, they're gonna head over here to the add or create button. And I'm gonna ask my son and he's gonna tell me, hey, yeah, I already typed that up. It's already a Google Doc, so I don't need to create a new one. I just need to turn in the one he's already done. It's in his Google Drive. So we're gonna go ahead and click Google Drive here. And uh, once this thing loads up, lo and behold, we'll see here's the executive branch powers Google Doc that my son was working on. So if I click this insert button in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to take that work and attach it to this. And now you'll notice the mark is done button turns into a turn in button instead. So mark is done uh, displays when there is no work attached, turn in displays when there is work attached that we want to turn in to the teacher. So now to turn this in, all we have to do is clap, tap the turn in button. It's going to give us this little verification. Are you sure you want to turn in this doc? Yep, we want to turn that in. And then my child's teacher will be able to have access to this Google doc that my son completed to be able to do this assignment. So that's the general process for marking as done once a task has been completed or turning in work once there's a document that's been attached. Let's take a look at a scenario here where as a parent, I though might be a little disappointed in my child, and that would be assignments that were turned in incorrectly or incomplete. So um, for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna navigate up here to this part called view your work. And you'll notice when we click that and come over here, we have uh, four different menus. We have the all menu that shows everything. We have assigned, and there are no outstanding assignments right now. We have the work that's already been returned to the student and we have missing work. And as a parent, I'm beaming, I'm so happy right now. There are no assignments that are missing, which is awesome. But when we go back to all, you're gonna notice a couple of things that concern you as a parent. First of all, if you take a look at these two bottom assignments, you'll notice the score was zero out of 50. So they're not missing, but uh, my child earned none of the points for that. 
And over here on this menu, you'll notice the teacher has left a comment on this assignment and there is no work attached. And on this assignment, the teacher has left a comment and there is one thing attached. So let's take a look at this first, the structure of Congress, um, and try to figure out why was this zero out of 50? So when I click on this, you'll notice here's the teacher comment that's been left. Caleb, you did not attach any work to this assignment. Um, so let's go ahead and click view details over here. And this takes us in here. We see now the score over here is zero out of 50 instead of the points possible. We see that this thing is due today. It's been turned in and lo and behold, yep, over here in the your work area, my son did not attach any work to this. So that might've been intentional or it might've been an oversight and you can work with your child's teacher to figure out um, what their late work policy is or their makeup policy is. But you'll notice in fact, when we look at these instructions, yep, my, uh, my, my son was supposed to compose a paper and there is no paper attached to this. So that's why it's resulted in a grade of zero out of 50. Now, if this was a mistake and my uh, my son really did mean to attach this and it was just an oversight, what my son can do over here is click this resubmit button. And when they resubmit, oh, I'm sorry, before we do that, my son can go over here and go, oops, I totally messed up. Let me attach my work that I forgot and then resubmit it to my teacher. Now, different teachers will have a different late work and makeup policies. So make sure you coordinate with your child's teacher on that. But there is the ability to resubmit if your teacher allows that for some partial credit. All right, the other more concerning scenario, again, we're gonna go back to classwork, is going to be this one over here, the three branches of government. When I click on this, you'll see that it's been graded over here. And so again, as a teacher or as a parent, I'm beaming, I'm so happy. But when we get into view the assignment, we'll see, uh, again, the teacher is awarded zero out of 50 points and has even left a comment here. Caleb, this Google Doc was turned in blank. So as a parent, when I look at this, it looks like, yeah, my, my son attached all of his work and everything's great. But when I go over here to this document and click it to open up, I can see exactly what the teacher's talking about. Here are the instructions and my son has never typed anything in here. So now I can have a conversation with my child about why they're turning in things that are blank. Oftentimes we've seen some students do this so that it doesn't seem like they have any missing work um, if parents are only looking for those missing assignments. So sometimes we have to drill down a little bit further to figure out what's really going on and how to make sure that our students are completing the tasks that they need to. Um, what if though you get a scenario where your son or your daughter says, no, I swear I typed the whole thing up. Um, there must be a glitch in the system that deleted all of my work. Well, that may sound a little far-fetched and uh, generally it is. You as a parent though, you actually have a way that you can go double check this and see if they're being honest. Um, if you weren't aware of this before, Google Docs tracks everything that ever happens to a document. So if you go to the file menu and you pull down to version history, you can go back and see every version of this Google Doc in its whole entire history. So we can go back and we can see all student work in the past. We can see what they did last Tuesday. We can see what they added or deleted on Thursday. And it's kind of a little record. And uh, yep, lo and behold, I'm looking over here and I see that this is the only work my son has ever done on it. There is only one entry over here and uh, that's it. There's never any information that's been typed in here. If there had be, I'd see a whole long list on the right hand side of everything that's been typed in. So if you run across this scenario, then you can have a conversation with your child about why they're turning in blank documents. It's kind of like turning in a blank worksheet um, in the physical classroom. And we can have a conversation about what we need to do differently to make sure that that's not happening going forward. So I hope that helps show you how to turn in assignments correctly in Google Classroom and how to also investigate if your child is perhaps forgetting to attach work or is uh, unfortunately turning in blank or incomplete assignments in Classroom. Thanks so much for uh, spending some time with us.